for the for the children and this is transfer to life as the better uh, voltage regulator the second advantage is uh, fourth advantage there is no spin attack in dc system therefore entire gas section of the current conductor is utilized this one is the for the same working voltage a passenger transfer from insulation to less in case of dc system than the ac therefore a dc line with the less insulation this one is the dc line has the corona loss and the entity uh, reduces the interference with the communication circuit the current attempt is the high voltage dc transmission line is a two from the dielectric losses particularly in the case of cable the dc transmission uh, transmission there is no stability problem and the synchronizing difficulty the advantage of uh, dc and the ac uh, is that electrical power cannot be generated at high dc voltage due to some uh, competition problem second is disadvantage is the dc voltage cannot be uh, kept by uh, uh, transmission of the power i have so the disadvantage is the dc switches switches uh, and circuit breakers are the one limitation in uh, ac next one is the This is transmission. In other words, electrical energy almost exclusively generated, uh, transmitted, and distribution uh, in the form of AC. AC. This is its advantages. Uh, power can be generated at high voltages. Maintenance of AC substation can be easy and secure. Third one is the AC voltage uh, can uh, can be kept up to and kept down. Transformer is uh, easy and uh, Efficiency. Uh, this permits the transmitted power, high voltage, and the distributed in phase phase potential. Uh, this this is the job of the AC transmitter. The uh, first point is the AC line requires a near uh, path from the DC line. The construction of the DC trans AC transmitter line is more com- uh, complicated than DC transmitter line. Uh, third, uh, this is the job of the AC uh, transmitter line. Third, this is the job of the AC the uh, effective resistance of the line increases the ac line has the uh, uh, capacitance there is a, a continuous loss of power due to charging current even when the line is broken next to top it is the wire uh, on the underground system the distribution system can be overhead and uh, underground the overhead line is generally mounted on uh, wooden uh, concrete or steel poles which are uh, arranged to carry distributed uh, transformers in uh, addition to the conductor the underground system used to conduct the cable and uh, manhole under the surface of the street uh, and uh, sidewalk the size between overhead and underground system depends upon the number of wires uh, different wire capacity therefore it uh, desirable make the uh, country between two Uh, public safety. The underground system is more safe than forward system because of the uh, distribution wiring is a place to underground and uh, there are little changes at any other. Next one is the limit cost. The underground system is more expensive, expensive due to the high cost of the uh, uh, fitting conditions as well as the manhole from the other structural equipment. Flexibility. The overhead system is much more flexible than the underground system. In the uh, later uh, case, uh, manholes, uh, ducts, lines, etc. Uh, Faults. Uh, the chances of faults in underground system are very rare, as the cables are uh, laid uh, underground are uh, generally covered with a better uh, insulation. Insulation. So the uh, a fault like is not the repair uh, uh, in general there are uh, a little time fault for uh, amazon system however fault uh, does occur in the difficulty located uh, the system my whole system the connect are visible and easily accessible to fault locations and the uh, repairs can be easily okay thank you to all